Hi, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, we will go through how to set up Google Search Console and how to verify your domain with different providers. We will go through how to do that with Namecheap, how to do it uh, with uh, AWS Route 53 and Cloudflare. Uh, there are also a lot of other providers there. I will briefly explain how you can do it with those like Bluehost, Hostgator, all the other providers out there because the principle always stays the same. You will learn in this video how you can adapt it to pretty much any provider or web hosting service you are using. We first need to go to the Google Search Console. So open up Google and type in Google Search Console. Now open the first search result and you will be prompted to the Google Search Console. Click Next and sign into your account. If you don't have an account, you can create one or just use any Google account uh, you would like. I won't go through the process of creating an account in this video, uh, but you can just pause the video, create an account and return back to continue watching. After you have logged into your account, go to the upper left corner where search properties is and click on the little arrow. Now, you should see all your domains or properties you have with your account. If you don't have any, um, it will be empty. Now, click on the Add Property button, which should open a new window now. You should have two options now. You can use either uh, the Domain Verification method or the URL Prefix Verification method. The Domain Verification method is a newer verification method um, at the end, I would recommend using it over the URL prefix method. So basically with the domain verification method, we can use all types of websites, www, we can use it across, across HTTPS and HTTP, so it won't matter. Uh, while with the URL prefix method, we can specify only a specific URL. So for example, let's take you're running a website. Uh, in the first option, you can just type in the domain of your website and everything will be covered. All subdomains, all blog posts, everything with it. While using the URL prefix method, you can only specify one certain URL. Uh, not even HTTPS and HTTP are interchangeable. So let's say you can specify only one certain blog post. Anything else on your website won't be included in that. Since most users are better off using the domain verification method. It suits uh, the purpose more. We are going to go with the domain verification method here. Now you can type in your domain name. You don't need to include www or anything. You can just type in your domain name. I'm going with an example domain name for me, which is statictech.com. So after you have typed in your domain name, just click confirm. Now you should be prompted to the next screen where you can see the following three instructions. So the important part here is to copy the Google site verification code and to add this record to your provider. Now we will go through how to actually add this record we just copied to your provider. You could be using any of those providers like Bluehost, uh, InMotion, Hostgator. We are going to go through how to do this for Namecheap right now. Uh, in the next sections, we are going to go uh, and explain it for Cloudflare and Route 53. But the principle always stays the same, so don't worry if this provider is a different one from yours. The only difference could be just in the location and the path where you can find uh, your DNS settings. Now again, go to Google and search for Namecheap. Open the search result and log into your Namecheap account. Next, go to your dashboard. Now, scroll down to your domains and find the, find the domain you want to verify. Then, click on the little Manage button. Your name server should be pointing to your Namecheap basic DNS. So this means that your DNS records are managed within Namecheap. If this option doesn't apply to you, you need to change your DNS records within that panel, within that other provider. You can't change it within Namecheap. Now go to the Advanced DNS tab. There you should be able to see all your uh, DNS records. I already have a TXT record there, so I will delete it and add it again. Within the TXT record, you need to specify the host and the value for the record. For the host, 
you need to specify your domain name. You can either type in your domain name, in this case studytech.com, or you can just type in an ad. Ad refers to root, so we are just going to go with ad. Now, just paste in the code that we have copied earlier from the Google Search Console as the value. Then, the little green tick can be clicked and the record will be saved. It doesn't matter what other records you have saved, you can just add this text record and this should work. You also need to take into consideration that it can take up to a day for those changes to propagate. In most cases they take around 5 to 10 minutes, but it can take even up to a day. It can even take longer. So after this is done, we can return uh, to our search console and actually verify. Uh, but since we already mentioned that it can take up to a day for those changes to propagate, those changes right now won't be accepted. So you can just always come back and refresh. In most cases, it should be available within 10 minutes. Now let's go through the steps and do the same again, but just this time for Cloudflare. Now let's repeat the process for Cloudflare. It is exactly the same process. So here I'm already logged in into the console. Uh, just select your domain name. For this purpose, I'm using another domain name, but it is still sa the same process. Navigate to your DNS settings. Now, you again need to add a text record. The principle is the same. You can either specify your domain name or you can just specify an ad, which represents your root domain name. So, after you have uh, created those records, just click Save and they should be added. Again, you need to wait, in most cases, five to 10 minutes, but it can take longer, up to a few days even. After that, you can return to your Google Search Console and click Verify. For those ones of you using AWS, let's go through the steps how to set this up with using AWS Route 53. Here, I'm logged in in my AWS account, so, First type in Route 53 and navigate to Route 53. Now go to your hosted zones and pick the zone you want to verify your domain for. In this case StudyTech. Go create a new record set. Now uh, pick, uh, choose the text record set and paste in your value. It's the, exactly the same process. Uh, here it didn't work because I already had the set, but it is exactly the same process as with all the other providers. You don't also need to specify a host, since the root is per default specified, uh, you can leave that uh, space blank. Don't worry if it didn't go through the steps how to do this for your web hosting provider. If you're using any of those gazillion providers out there, out there like Bluehost, InMotion, uh, HostGator, any of those, because the principle always stays the same, we always have to add this text record and wait the time till the changes propagate and then we can verify the domain name. Uh, but uh, the only difference you would have would be uh, that your DNS settings are just in a different folder. But those shouldn't be too hard to find. In most cases, you will have a folder where you have just your DNS settings, which you can change. Um, so uh, the solution shouldn't differ for any of those providers. You are using. If you found this video useful and you like those types of videos, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, if you have a particular suggestion what you would like me to do, then please comment down below and I will review the comments and maybe create a video to solve your exact problem.